hey you guys i am back i am clarissa the boss queen and welcome back to my get ready with me video um this is part two of uh get ready with me going to the essence festival um back in july 2022 um so i'm going to go ahead and get started so here i think the last at the ending of the first part of the video and part one i was applying some eyeliner or just making it look a little bit more bold so um, now i think i'm finishing that up so i'm gonna go ahead and play this video right now so we can get started all right so here we here i am just finishing up um so let me bring the camera a little bit more all right there we go and that's me um in the video adjusting <laughs> excuse me adjusting the camera now i'm going in with my eyeliner i think that's from l'oreal so that's a brown color so i think oh the lips i'm going to outline my lips yep so the green eyeshadow light green did pretty good i did my eyes okay so now i'm going in with the lips So I like to use the eyeliner. I didn't have any, didn't have any lip liner, but you know, everybody, a lot of people substitute um, eyeliner for lip liner. <laughs> so then, I, now I think I'm going in with my gloss. Yeah. So there. Yeah, I'm going in. Yep, yeah, that's like a nice gloss. Oh, it's a neutral color. It's a neutral color gloss. So. Alright. Alright, so I'm zooming in. I got the lips looking good. The lips looking good. Alright. So this is part two, just finishing up with the get ready. Okay, now those are my eyelashes. Those are my mink magnetic eyelashes that I sell on my online store. Uh, and I also have the um, adhesive um, eyelash, I mean the adhesive eyeliner glue. And that's um, also my um, on my online store. Okay, Queen Island Goddess. So now I'm just taking it off and just trying to apply. I'm going to be applying this on my eyelid so that way you can see how it's done. If you can see it. So it's a kind of a tedious, a tedious thing, but I think uh, I think I did it good enough for me. So I think I decided to just leave it like that and get a little bit closer to the mirror. Yeah. What? Well, I hate that you can't see <laughs> me applying it on, but you just take the eyeliner um, glue and apply it um, close uh, as close as you can to your eyebrow or your um, eyelashes. I'm sorry, your natural eyelashes, so that when you get ready to put the false lashes on. They look very natural and as you can see the black eyeliner um i applied that and now i think i'm working on the other eye i think that's why so i did pretty good with the eyeliner so now after i applied the um eyeliner glue i'm about to go ahead and install my eyelashes okay the magnetic eyelashes So I think I'm going to use my fingers to apply the um, lashes. I, I think I've gotten a little bit better instead of using like an um, eyelash applicator. So I'm pressing it down with my fingernail a little bit. And then... Uh, yeah, so I got it applied. And I'm using my fingers to make sure that it's um, 
on real good so i think i must have made it up too high so a lot of times i do that i will have the um eyelash up kind of high so i would probably just took it off and brought it down a little bit lower so it'll look very natural so now it looks natural blending it in with okay I think I'm working on the next one. Yeah, there you go. Try to get it as low as possible. All right, so now I'm using my fingernails once again to, um, you know, make sure that the eyelash is sticking to the adhesive glue that's the only reason why i did that and then i think it's stuck um it doesn't take long for it to stick so it doesn't dry fast which is good so that way you have time to place your um eyelash where you need to place it all right so now i think i'm taking a look at my eyes and i think i did pretty good Yeah, there we go look at those eyes oh i did good <laughs> all right yeah i did pretty good like i said i'm not a pro but i did okay so let me turn that back in okay so now i'm done with my makeup now i think i'm ready to put the bang on there because in this um style i'm going to be using the bang ponytail that's if you didn't, if you just now tuning in. And so I think I, I applied my makeup on first before I put the uh, bang on. So now I'm about to go in and put the bang on. Because this is a bang ponytail style. Again, I was getting ready to go to the Essence Festival to see um all the performers perform and i was just getting ready so this is a get ready with me so um so i'm almost done i'm not gonna take up too much more of your time but yeah so now i'm just applying the bang which i like i like the bang applying that then i'm gonna take the brush and brush it so it can look um even and natural and as you can see, uh, just by me brushing it, it made it look, oh, excuse me, made it look natural. I guess I'll hold. Okay, I got my small tooth comb. So, I like my hair going to one side, and it's always going to be to the left side. I don't know why. That's just one of my things and it just i just feel comfortable with it looking like that to the side and it blends in really good like the roots really blends in so and that is a synthetic wig so i mean it lasts it did the job it did it did okay it looked pretty so okay now i think i'm doing my edges and I'm using that got to be thickening cream, which is real good. It gives it a good hold. You ain't got to worry about your edges going nowhere with this stuff. This stuff is really good. I, I kind of recommend it. You know, I, I recommend this better than using gel. Um, It does come out a little, you know, have a white residue. But once you really blend it in in your own natural hair, you won't even see that white residue. So that's what I'm about to show you here in a minute. Um, it'll blend in real good and I just take my brush and just kind of even everything out and then that white residue look will go away and that means that it's about to start holding whatever you apply in your hair so I did good with my edges baby hair whatever you want to call them so and all I did was just slick it back and I love that stuff. See, it looks a lot better. So, 
Put that out the way. I think I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm complete now. So, um, I'm about done. That's my lips. I think I did everything. I think the only thing I forgot to do was apply the body mist spray. I mean, the body spray. So... So there we go. I'm about to apply the body spray on it, and it's it's a shimmer body spray. So you'll see a little shimmer on my um on my skin, like on my shoulders. I applied it on my on my shoulders and on my neck, and um you'll be able to see it. So I'm just letting it dry. You see the glitter. You see it. You see it. Oh, don't, don't worry about the moles, but you see the glitter. <laughs> and like I said, I sprayed some on my shoulders and all that stuff. I need to get those moles removed. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna keep it. All right, so this I got my handbag. It's, I made it into like a crossbody bag. So that was uh like I said, this is a rainbow outfit. So um everything from the bag to the dress, the dress is I got it from Rainbow. Uh, the shoes I got from my local beauty supply store, the gold shoes, that handbag, the, the crossbody bag I got from um, you know, from Rainbow. And my dress, so I am ready to go. Ready to go. All right, so everything looks good. Don't mind my little pudge right there. I'm gonna start working on it, but everything else looks good. The hair, the makeup, the outfit is good, and the shoes. So I'm ready. All right, you guys, this ends the video. So um, I thank you guys for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed getting ready um, for the Essence Festival. So I'm going to end this video. This was part two of my Get Ready With Me. Um, going to uh, the Essence Festival in New Orleans. And you guys, stay tuned. I will be uploading another video but um don't forget to subscribe and i love you guys and thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye